Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of Get Good at Open Rollercoaster Tycoon 2. Now I've previously made a tutorial on how to make a wide go-kart track. It mostly focused on uh, making it look realistic. But what if you want a go-kart track that's, uh, let's say, something straight out of Mario Kart. Uh, in this tutorial I will show you uh, a few tricks just to make a track uh, that's a little bit less realistic, but still really fun to build and to watch. Uh, I will just start with a station and just a normal wide go-kart layout and then uh, we'll, I'll start showing you some tricks. So to start off we just build a go-kart track like usual. So I'll make the station and we'll enable the allow arbitrary write up changes cheat and let's also disable the clearance checks and let's turn it into a, a steeplechase well any ride uh, works but I like the steeplechase um, as you can see we can now use the wider curves than normal uh, never use these uh, diagonal uh, sections or these uh, curves because go-karts will uh, teleport right through them. So I will now just make a simple uh, wide uh, go-kart track layout. Like this. Actually I will make the station on the outside. Alright, this is our typical uh, wide uh, go-kart track layout. Now if we change it for example to a uh, lift right type. And we test it. Well, actually in this right type it takes a while for the go-karts to actually take off. Um, I use the crooked house for now. Actually we should first spawn the cars. And then change them into a crooked house. And now we can put it in test mode and the car should immediately leave. So yeah, that's the thing with the lift right type or elevator. Uh, it usually takes a while for the cars to actually leave. Uh, not much you can do about that. Maybe there's another right type that, ch that turns the, the track invisible uh, where they don't leave. But uh, I currently don't know uh, of one. Well, except for the crooked house, but it completely messes up the stats of your uh, ride. So yeah, you may also not want to do that. But yeah, I'll leave that uh, up to you. Anyway, as you can see now, uh, the track is uh, it's invisible. Uh, I will quickly make it visible again. But yeah, uh, I showed how to do this already in a previous uh, episode. Now, um, I will quickly play some parts under the track. And then after that, I will show you how to make uh, a track with a shortcut. Alright, here we have our track. Now, uh, if you have ever played a game like Mario Kart, you know that uh, many tracks usually have a shortcut somewhere uh, along the along the way. Or maybe a split in the track or a separate uh, route. Uh, actually, to do that in a wide go-kart track is really easy. You just uh, cut the, the track somewhere. And let's do like this. Let's make a little S bend. Actually, I'll just make a curve here. And there we go. We simply connect to the track here again. Um, for example, you could make uh, some water here or uh, or some other dangerous stuff. Let's. Uh, I don't know if I've actually selected the correct item here. Oh yeah, here it is. Put some bubbling goo under it. Uh, I don't know. 
then I could, for example, make it look like a dangerous bridge. So let's uh, quickly give the coaster a test ride. And let's make it invisible. Now in the first lap uh, the cars will all follow the, the normal track. Oh wait, no, actually, uh, they will follow this track, all of them. Because uh, that's how the track layout goes. In the second lap they will follow uh, the normal track. So in this part of the coaster... Um, so in this part of the coaster there's actually two tracks right next to each other. And in this part of the coaster they will all now follow the, the outside curve. And here they will follow uh, the shortcut. And yeah, because uh, some of the go-karts are slower than the others, uh, at some point in the track it will, uh, yeah, it will just look like uh, some of the carts are following a different r route. But yeah, in fact, some of the carts are just slower than the others, so that's why it looks like that. Oops, we probably should not set it to uh, zero laps. So I'll change it back into go-karts. And uh, two laps is probably enough. Because we have a wide go-kart track now, um, it's actually uh, two circuits it does every time. So when you have two laps here, it will actually do uh, four laps. And the winner will do an extra two victory laps. So yeah, you should probably take that into account, especially when you make a longer uh, track than usual. Alright, so this is how you make a shortcut in, uh, in your track. Um, the next thing I want to show you, um, most of these, uh, most of the Mario Kart tracks actually have jumps in them and boosters. So, what if we wanted to make this shortcut a little bit more dangerous, to uh, make it a little bit more risky, uh, and, and possibly, possibly also a little bit more rewarding for the player to actually uh, take the shortcut. So, let's close the ride. I'll change it back into a steeplechase. And what I'll do here is I'll remove these track pieces. Here I'll make a little hill. And there we also go down again. And actually what I will do before I forget. Um, let's go to cheats. And allow chain lifts on all track pieces and here we'll put uh, some chain lifts on the track so we go up here and we go horizontal again now we go down when you go down you can see the chain lift automatically gets deselected so be sure to select it again and also for this last piece so now there's a little hill here I'll uh, remove the footpath like that and then um, because the track type is still a steeplechase and the steeplechase is a track type that has a chain lift we can actually change the lift hill chain speed so uh, for that we use the cheat unlock operating limits and let's set it to a higher value 40 kilometers per hour and let's give the track a test ride now we'll have to wait for it to start there it goes now I'll change it to a lift to make the track invisible and as you can see now I've made a little ramp here over the bubbling goo and because of the the chain lift the cars actually speed up here uh, just as if there was a booster uh, track piece here. You see those a lot in Mario Kart tracks. Uh, just these little boosters and when you drive over them you get a little uh, speed boost. So yeah, if you want to uh, make a place where your uh, go-karts uh, speed up, uh, just hide a chain lift and make the chain lift speed uh, of the track uh, a bit higher. Now you'll have to be uh, aware that uh, you can only set one chain lift speed for a 
for a ride. So you cannot have uh, multiple sections where the cars go at different speeds using this trick. So if you have more, want more than one of these booster sections, uh, they, you should make them all, well they will all have the same speed. Now here's something else, another cool trick that you can do. Um, you can actually place obstacles on the track. And we can place those in the form of uh, flying saucers, for example. Uh, Dodgems will also work. So here we have our flying saucers. Uh, I will just set the time limit uh, to the highest that's available. And we'll change it into a ride type that allows test mode. And 12 is probably enough. Okay, this is strange. Um, let's turn it into flying. Oops. Let's turn it into flying saucers. Let's open it. And let's now change it to different ride type. And that's not allowed, apparently. All right, so just change it into a crooked house, a right type. Uh, like I said, this also works for dungeons. Mm. Now let's test our go karts. I'll quickly turn it into a steeplechase. And go karts actually have collision with flying saucers and dungeons. So, you can use these as obstacles. Well, obviously you'll need to uh, lower the amount of uh, flying saucers you have here, because now it's uh, a bit too much. But you can simply uh, make the number of flying saucers uh, lower using the, this menu. And that way you can, for example, emulate uh, stuff that's walking on the track, like crabs or uh, Monty Moles. Stuff like that from the Mario Kart series. Alright, I'll make the number of flying saucers a little bit lower. And then it still works, but uh, it doesn't cause a complete uh, stoppage. Alright, then there's one final tra uh, trick I want to show you. Um, so yeah, um, if you want uh, more cars than uh, you get by default. Um, let me quickly change it back to a go-kart. And let's hide the track, the path, I mean. So yeah, our station is now this length. Um, I know it's six tiles long and we got 10 cars. Um, obviously if you want more cars you'll have to make the station longer. Um, the reason uh, you only get 10 cars here, which will go to right about up to the first three tiles, is that uh, if you have a situation in the end where all the cars uh, happen to be uh, behind each other, then they still all fit in the station. So yeah, if you actually make more uh, go-karts than you get by default, then you might end up with a situation where the last car is actually stuck behind the station because all the other cars are lined up in front of it. And then the entire ride will be stuck waiting for the last car to get into the station, but it will be unable to. Um, if you want to extend the station, um, there's actually an easy trick to do that. So we simply take this last piece of uh, track, uh, the last piece of the station, I mean, you copy it, and then let's uh, remove this track piece here. And then we paste the track piece. Uh, make sure to rotate it the correct way. And just like that, we have uh, extended our station. I'll try to see if I can show it in action. I'll change the number of laps to one. All 
All right, I'll speed this part up a bit. No, this is the first go kart, so it will do a victory lap. But these carts now should start should start slowing down here because they have reached the beginning of the station already in this uh, this curve over here. And that's because we extended the station to this uh, tile over here. Simply by copying and pasting the last piece of the station to, to right here. Now this go-kart also uh, starts slowing down already here. Uh, because the station is now so far down, uh, you can easily just uh, disable the vehicle limits. And just put uh, a lot more go-karts. You can probably do uh, 20 right now if you want. Or even more. Um, yeah, this will probably fit. So if all the go-karts were now right behind each other, um, this 20 go-karts would still easily fit into the station. Alright, when building a go-kart like this, like this um, there's some track pieces you should avoid. Um, I already uh, told you um, yeah, so when you're making curves, uh, stick to these curves, uh, this width. Avoid these uh, curves that uh, go diagonally here. Uh, go cards will simply teleport right through them. So uh, it can actually be useful if you want your go cards to teleport. I mean, that could be something in an unrealistic uh, track. Uh, that's up to you. Um, other uh, track pieces you should avoid. Um, so if you go from horizontal to steep, um, the go karts will actually uh, teleport through this uh, horizontal to steep section, but they will actually do the steep sections. You may actually want to hide a uh, chain lift if you're going this uh, steep with your go karts, or you can just make a make it a bit more smooth and then the go-karts will actually uh, drive through this section. Um, inversions should be avoided. Um, the go-karts will teleport through uh, all inversions. So um, if we change it to a twister roller coaster. So for example barrel rolls, uh, they will simply just teleport through them. Quarter crews, the same. Uh, you can actually make a loop, uh, the half loops don't work, but you can actually make a loop and the go-karts will actually uh, attempt to travel through it. And quite often they will actually make it through the loop, but at some point uh, your go-karts will get stuck on top of the loop. And you'll want to avoid that. I've tried many times many different configurations, even with chain lifts hidden on the loop, but uh, eventually they will get stuck on the ride. So yeah, loops uh, should really be uh, avoided. Um, I'm not really sure if banked track actually works. Uh, Go-kart normally don't have sprites for banked track. Um, as far as I know, curves upwards uh, or downwards, they work. But I thought that if you make them banked, uh, the go-karts will actually glitch or teleport right through them. So yeah, you should probably also uh, avoid that. But normal uh, curved track upwards uh, will work fine. Again, you might might want to put some chain lifts on them just uh, to give your go-kart some uh, speed while going uphill. Alright, that was it for this episode. I hope this uh, tutorial is useful for you. Uh, if you ever want to make a uh, Mario Kart style track. Uh, if you want some inspiration for a Mario Kart style track, uh, we actually did a multiplayer round in Mario Kart style. It did have custom scenery though. Um, there's also a really cool park on uh, nedesigns.com. I'll link it in the video description. Um, it's the Mario Kart All Cup Tour. Uh, I forgot the name of the person who made it, but it's an awesome park. And also has some uh, really cool uh, custom scenery items in the Mario Kart style. Alright, that was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you again in the next one.
See you later.